What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost. And as more reviews and reactions start to come in for the Matrix Resurrections, it's becoming increasingly obvious that the people who warned that this is going to be a divisive movie, that audiences will be divided on this, were absolutely right. Because a large portion of them, myself included, are looking at this movie and saying, why does this exist? This is absolutely terrible. And the longer that it is out there, the more people seem to be feeling that way. You can see the all audience score down to 48% on Rotten Tomatoes. But with all that being said, how's it doing in the box office? That's one thing that a lot of people are interested in. Now we knew this movie would have no chance of competing with Spider-Man after Spider-Man had that incredible opening weekend. I don't think anyone thought there was ever a chance of that. But I don't know if too many people foresaw it being number three in the box office in its debut, but that's where it looks to sit. Spider-Man No Way Home nears one billion as Sing 2 leads Christmas box office newcomers. Yes, Sing 2. I know a lot of you probably don't know what Sing is, but it is a family friendly. It's like an animal singing competition thing. I, I've seen it playing. I, I don't know what it's really about, to be honest with you. But that movie looks to be beating Matrix in the box office right now. The box office still largely belongs to Sony slash Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home. Again, a Sony Sony movie, not a Disney movie, just to make that very clear, which according to industry estimates accounted for 61% of all grosses on Wednesday and Thursday, leaving Universal's Sing 2 to win a race among Chris, uh, Christmas newcomers for a distant second. Adding 30 million on Thursday, No Way Home has a domestic total of 386 million and 876 mil worldwide. Likely on Christmas or right around there, it's going to cross a billion, which is insane that it's going to get it that quickly, but that's what Spider-Man No Way Home is going to do. Sing 2 is performing decently as a family alternative to No Way Home, grossing 7.5 million Thursday to go with 8.1 million on Wednesday. So that's important. It basically made about the same on Wednesday that it did on Thursday. When we look at Matrix, it's not going to be the same. In third is Warner Brothers' The Matrix Resurrections, which is performing below projections with a 4.1 million grossed on Thursday and a domestic total of five and a half mil headed into the weekend. They initially thought that the five-day opening, keep in mind, since it's, a, since it's a holiday opening like this, they actually open on Wednesday. It's the they would normally do on Thursday. So you have an extra day in there. Now, that was around 40 million, industry estimates now have the film finishing in the low $30 million range. And that is incredibly pathetic for what this movie really should have been. And when we look at the numbers, you can see this daily chart. Spider-Man made about $30 million yesterday. Sing to it, seven and a half. Matrix at 4.1. Ghostbusters Afterlife still hanging on there, $400,000 or something on a Thursday. And I wish I could say I'm surprised by this, but I'm not because Matrix was just not a good movie. It had woke stuff. It had identity politics driven stuff. It definitely did. But more than that, it was just a bad movie. It felt like it was picked apart and pieced back together at times. It felt like it wasn't taking itself seriously. It felt like a movie that nobody wanted to make but it got made anyway. And it definitely has some things working against it in this competition with Sing 2. One, Sing 2 is theatrical exclusive, whereas you can watch Matrix Resurrections on HBO Max. That's where I watched it. And also, of course, Matrix is an R-rated movie. Sing is a PG movie. It's a family movie. But with that being said, a franchise like The Matrix, as much money as this movie costs to make, probably around the $200 million range. Haven't seen official budget estimates yet, but that's probably what it's around, considering the amount of money that the two other sequels for Matrix cost to make. 200 mil is probably right around correct for this movie. This is embarrassingly bad for The Matrix, and I want to make a comparison to a different movie. Let's look at Dune, right? <clears throat> Dune's opening weekend was $41 million domestically. Now, that's a Thursday to Sunday, not a Wednesday to Sunday, like the $32, $33 million estimates are for Matrix. That in and of itself is bad for Matrix. But also the fact that Dune was out worldwide like a month, a month and a half before this, also available on HBO Max. So I think that'll be a good comparison when we look at how this movie does compared to what it should do. And although obviously Dune is from a book series, we've seen Dune movies before, uh, in terms of an interconnected franchise like we've seen with The Matrix, it doesn't have that to rely on. It doesn't have that built-in fan base. But for Matrix 4, uh, Matrix Resurrections, this is bad. I actually went and rewatched the original Matrix. It holds up so well. If you watch Matrix Resurrections and you hated it, 
highly recommend just going back and watching the first one. That movie is so good and everything about it holds up fantastically well. But what do you guys think about the box office results for The Matrix? A absolute and total flop. Third in the box office this week in its premiere. Gonna be obviously by Spider-Man, but also by Sing. Too. Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.